Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for November 6th through November 12th. Now this is intended to be a weekly love reading. It may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. If it's not for you, then just leave it behind. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Pisces, November 6th through November 12th. And I don't do reversals, but I do, okay? So I know what needs to be reversed. I consider the reversals in every reading. If I didn't, they'd all be peaches and cream. As you can see, if you've watched me before, they certainly are not. Okay, so I just want to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, okay? The basis of your reading is the Three of Pentacles. This tells me that this week is probably about teamwork in some way, or you are re waiting for some sort of communication from somebody, all right? Could have to do with your work. This is intended to be a love reading, but I do see that work is in focus this week, okay? You may be focusing more on your work, more on your career, more on something other than love. That's what it appears like that to look like to me. It appears that you're just, perhaps you're feeling like you don't even want to think about love this week. You may just want to think about your finances and focus in another area. Um, I think it looks to me like you just don't even want to think about a commitment at this time. You just want to block it out. Many of you want to block out some kind of um, past um, relationship or a past commitment. I feel like many of you have just moved right out of it. You know, your, your, your mind has moved away from it, okay? I feel like um, there's been some tension. There's been some tension within a relationship. And I think many of you are contemplating being single or you are single and you're very grateful for all that you have, okay? And you're not looking for more. You're not looking for love right now. It's just, you know, I'm going to concentrate on my work. I'm going to do this. And that's not on the agenda. It, that's what it looks like. You may be feeling kind of cold-hearted at this time, feeling like, you know what? I just don't even want to deal with love. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like there's been some hurt and that perhaps you're just trying to block out some pain or ignore some pain right now and burying yourself in your work is might be the way to do it, okay? Or your home, you know, focusing on your home or focusing on your career. I feel like um, something, there's, there's some kind of uh, fear, okay? There's some kind of fear and it could be a fear of commitment, all right? I feel like you have been hurt. So I don't know who this for, but so, who this is for, but somebody has been hurt and they don't even want to think about love right now. They don't want to think about a commitment. They just want the peace to come back to their life. They want to bring the, their peace back to their inner being. It looks like you may be doing some of you may be doing some soul searching, okay? Um, and I think that um, doing that you you need to free yourself from something you guys need to remove yourself from a negative situation and you're doing that by ignoring it okay blocking it out pretending you know that it's not really here and just just blocking it out it looks like you're blocking out anything that had to do with a commitment because right now you're focusing on something else i feel like maybe there was some conflicts there was some um um challenges recently that have left you um, feeling mentally restless okay so you're just you know I'm not gonna deal with it this week I'm not I'm just gonna focus my my thoughts and my energy out elsewhere 
okay? Maybe you're feeling like you don't even want to communicate with people. You may be feeling like you just want to be by yourself. You know, I'm just going to focus on my job. Don't don't talk to me right now. It's not that you don't want to talk to anybody, but I think it's that you just don't want to talk about love right now, okay? Um, I feel like you're doing some soul searching in order to remove yourself from a negative situation. I'm going to get the next pull. It feels like you're your job is the top priority at this time, okay? And that's because you've been hurt. You've been hurt or, you know, a commitment didn't turn out the way you had hoped and it, you just don't even want to think about it. You block that shit out. Right now you're concentrating on your finances and you're pretty grateful for all that you have financially and that's what you're focusing on, all right? I think you're you're pretty content right now, probably without love for many of you. Now this is intended to be a love reading. I'm not sure who this is for, but I think many of you are feeling mentally restless and you have fear of new love, so you're just going to bury yourself in your job and do some soul searching. Okay, there you are. This is for the sign of Pisces. Here's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and that's who we have so far. It really look in Pisces, you're up here as well. So you're definitely prominent in this reading. Definitely prominent. And I think that many of you have been hurt probably by somebody that you adored. Okay probably by somebody that you absolutely adored and you just need to remove yourself from the situation and you're feeling like a victim. Many of you are probably feeling like a victim, like, how do I remove myself from this? But because maybe right now you just want to block it all out. Forgiveness right here. Maybe you need to forgive a past love, okay? And here we have the other, the other element, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now we have all the signs here, okay? Um, I think many of you are reminiscing about the past. And I think that there's some kind of forgiveness that needs to happen. Perhaps you're going to have some awakening in love, okay? Maybe you have been focusing on your finances or trying to pretend about a situation. situation and now perhaps you're trying to bring some love back. Perhaps maybe deep down you really do love even though you're trying to block it out. Or you want to love again, but you're blocking it out right now. You're not moving towards it even though deep down you're, you really want love. Okay, but I think it's a time of renewal for you, a time of soul searching where you really need to heal. Okay, it's a time of healing. It feels like many of you are reminiscing about some love that you had in the past and perhaps you're not over it yet. Okay, but I see that probably and many of you are just focused on your job. That's all there is to it. This week is a focus on work because you don't want to think about the past. You don't want to think about the love that was lost. So I think this week is a focus on your job, okay? Focus on your finances, focus on your home because I feel like you you have been very, very hurt emotionally, okay? I don't know who this is for, but I feel like many of you are feeling mentally restless. It's a time of soul searching. I think you've been hurt by another person and you're just not sure how you're ever gonna get through this. Um, and perhaps you're just blocking it out and burying yourself in your job or your home. Okay, I'm going to get one of the Archangel Michael cards for you. Remember, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Somebody's been stealing my videos, so I'm going to repeat it several times from now on. Um, I'm getting you one of my Archangel, Archangel Michael cards. I'll often say Archangel, even though I know it's Archangel. I just do that. Fire from perfect oh my gosh this is perfect for you the card says romance angels are helping you my prayer dear guardian angels of my soulmate Thank you for preparing my soulmate in me for love, 
for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. This card tells me that you are, I feel like you're trying to block something out, okay? Don't be afraid to start over in love. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person. Whatever love that you have had can come back much, much better. Everything happens for a reason. Every lesson you learn brings you that much closer. Every relationship that ends brings you that much, much closer to the one. So open your heart, okay? Believe. Don't block out love. And I see that many of you are, okay? Have the courage to start anew. When you're ready, when you're ready, I think forgiveness is a big part of this week. Forgiving yourself, forgiving somebody else, and doing some soul searching. So this is for Pisces, November 6th through November 12th. And this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot.